I'd like to debunk a myth here. Is a cell phone gonna totally wreck an avalanche transceiver search? No. In transmit mode, there are no effects. In search mode, there could be some effects on the function of your transceiver, but only if your searching transceiver is within a couple inches of your cell phone. That's because the noise coming from the phone can be loud enough so the signal coming from a, a victim can't actually be detected. I'm gonna use this old analog transceiver to illustrate what I mean about noise and signals. What it does is it just picks up all electrical signals somewhere near 457 kilohertz. And if it's noise, it kind of comes in as static. You hear that beep? That's a transmitter that I have about 10 meters away. And then you can see that the noise coming from this phone can conceal the signal coming from that transmit unit, enough so that I can't even detect that beeping signal. Does airplane mode affect this signal? No, it makes no difference. The reason I use airplane mode is to save battery power so I can use my phone in case of an emergency. Okay, we're done with this analog beacon. Now let's see what happens with the Tracker 4. Okay, here's my signal coming from the transmitter over there, 8.3 meters away. There's my cell phone. And notice how when I get close enough, I start to lose the signal. That's because the noise is stronger than the signal. Pretty minimal effects, as you can see. In conclusion, is the cell phone gonna prevent you from being located in an avalanche burial? No. As long as you're keeping your searching transceiver at arm's length, where it should be using good technique, there will be no effects of a cell phone on an avalanche transceiver search. People are going to be found.